Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel. Today on my channel I'm going to show you how to make a secret safe. But first I was like, you know what, I'm pretty hungry. I'm going to make some soup. I think I'll grab some soup here. Oh, wait a minute. This can looks a little... There's something going on here. What? There's a $20 bill inside my soup. How'd that happen? So today on my channel I'm going to show you how to make this. It's pretty cool. It's made out of recycled items. I pretty much just took a soup can, opened it up, put a jar inside it, and then you can place whatever you want. The screw top lids on the bottom of this lid here, pretty much I just screw it back on into place. That's solidified. It's, it's on there pretty good. And you can place it back wherever you want and it blends in pretty well. No one would ever know that there's something in there. So let's get this started. I'll show you how to make it. It's a lot of fun. Okay guys, so for this video you're going to need a can. Of course I have a soup can here. Uh, you're also going to want to get a screw top container that will fit inside the can that you're using. I'm going to use a soup can. You can also use a shaving cream can um, or a whipped cream can, doesn't matter. Uh, as long as it has this little metal lip at the bottom that you can get your can open around to uh, open it. Also, if you use the shaving cream, make sure that you empty it first, or, or the whipped cream. Empty it first, make sure all the air is out before you puncture it. That way it doesn't uh, hurt you or do any damage to you. Um, so, like I was saying, you're going to want to get the can. You're going to want to get a container that will fit inside the can. I went to the True Value store looking for a container, and for some reason they had uh, whole mushrooms. I was in there for a whole hour, and I walked out with mushrooms. They probably thought I was crazy. And you can see that this actually fits pretty nicely inside the can. You're also going to need a can opener, of course, so you can open the can. And what I found was that it was a little easier to cut the can on a horizontal plane so you want to grab it like this and open it and and open it on its side like this or horizontally not vertically that way you get a nice uh, lid uh, to the can like I have here and actually let me show you what happened when I use this regular can opener probably like the one that you have at home uh, it made the outside of the lid a little jagged so you can see there's a little bit of like notches going around the edge. Uh, this other one doesn't have it. It's pretty smooth. And that's because I actually went out and bought a horizontal can opener. This is specifically designed to cut on its side. So this is meant to cut horizontally. It also makes a really nice clean cut and it won't hurt you. It won't cut you. So this, this is actually a pretty good buy. So I'd recommend getting one anyway. If you don't have one though, a regular can opener will work just fine. You're also going to need some foam and perhaps some paper towel that you can wrap around the can or the uh, container and that'll help contain it inside this can that way it's not moving around. So first what you're going to do is what I did was I cut a little piece of foam. I made it about a half inch thick. Um, it's just a sponge that I got at the dollar store and I just cut it to fit inside the can. I'm going to lay it at the bottom here. This is going to serve as a base for the uh, uh, the actual container to sit on, that way it has something to sit on. I also want to make sure that the container inside the can is somewhat a little bit above the can, that way when I put the lid on, um, it'll, it'll have a little bit of a spring, it'll push down on it when I put the lid on. So what we're going to do is, we're actually going to glue this lid uh, to the container's lid inside using hot glue. So what I'm going to do first though before I do that, is I'm going to wrap the inside container with a piece of paper towel a few pieces of paper towel. That way it has a nice um, resistance uh, inside the can uh, when you put the container inside the can. So I'm just wrapping it twice. You can see it's up near the top. What I'm going to do is just use a scissors just to push down on the paper towel. That way it's inside the can, not outside. Also you want to try to center this inside container as well as best you can inside the uh, soup container or whatever container you use. And you also want to make sure that it's a little bit above the can when you put it in. See how this lid on the container is a little bit above the can? That's because what's going to happen is I'm going to place a lot of hot glue on here. You can see it's pretty centered pretty well. I'm going to place a lot of hot glue on top. I'm going to place this can, the lid to the can on top and I'm going to press down and let that glue solidify and hold it for a good minute because it's going to take a while for it to um, solidify. And then I'll, I'll take that off by unscrewing it. Got my handy hot glue gun here. Place the lid right away. Make sure that it's tight and that there is a seal at the top of the can. That way the can looks normal. And you want to hold this probably for a good minute.
Okay, so I let the hot glue uh, solidify for about a minute or two here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the can out a little bit, just slightly. I'm going to twist the lid and take that off. And it, wouldn't, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea just to put a little bit of hot glue around the edge here because this is what's going to be taking a lot of the stress inside the, uh, inside the can. So I'm just going to add a lot here around the edge. And then what you want to do is you want to place more hot glue all the way around the rim here to help make sure that it's nice and even and that it stays uh, in position. Try not to get it on the glass jar itself. And that might be a little difficult, like on the threads on the side where you actually place the lid to the can. And uh, if you just so happen to get some glue along the edge of the can here, just wait till it solidifies and just scrape it off with a scissor or a screwdriver. Same thing with the threading on the jar or the container you have inside the can. If you get any hot glue on these uh, threads, it won't allow the lid to seat properly. Um, so you can just scrape that off with, uh, with something flat and it'll help clean it up. Okay guys, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If not, this is Rich's Methods. I will see you on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye.